Hello people, I am Jabby Kuwait, joined by Achara, the big, goofy, silly, fun, happy birthday Kirk. Thank you. And uh, we're looking at my life after watching Money Heist, Naveen Palaszczuk, if Money Heist was made in India. Okay. Comedy. Specifically, just so you know, it's a, it's a ha-ha. I got a funny feeling. So, um, Naveen Palaszczuk actually told me that he did this and he was like, would you be open to him? I'm like, of course, my bro, my dude. So, um, yes, we are going to look at this having not watched Money Heist. Nope. So, uh, <laughs> but we did watch the trailers. It looks quite exciting. Yes. And I, I'm definitely down to watch it. There are some people who are like, why don't you do a Netflix, you know, reaction series to Money Heist? And I'm like, I don't know. Are, are people, do people want that? Do you so, want that? So, does, do people want that? Do you guys... Answering. We're waiting for the right. comments. Okay. So here we go. Mama, ahora, ahora, vamos, vamos. Professor, sí, professor, di professor, sí, minor professor. Nairobi. Por favor, Nairobi. Helsinki. Puta de madre, puta de telefono, tunnel, tunnel, danteras. Danteras is not Spanish. It's a Spanish festival. No, it's not. Puta. <laughs> Gracias. What? You don't even know Spanish. Oh, 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 oh. Senor, El Narcos, eh? <laughs> Pablo Escobar, Rafael Nadal, Mario, video game, <laughs> bailamos, <laughs> Enrique <laughs> Eggless. <laughs> Senor, La Casa de Paisa, Tokyo. <laughs> Mi amo, Vishaka Patnam. ¿Qué pasa, Pondicherry? ¿Qué pasa? Hijo de puta, Jabalpur. Vamos. Vamos, Kodakinal, Vamos! Sí. Increíble. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ¿Qué pasa? Uh, Jabalpur, Kodakinal, all cities are in lockdown. Nobody can come to this robbery. We just have to do this robbery on Zoom call. Hijo <laughs> <laughs> de puta corona! <laughs> 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 That was cute. That was really cute. Yeah. I mean, I, I think I think we get it. It's like you watch so much Money Heist that you think that you can speak Spanish at this point. His ability to to imitate Spanish is actually pretty good. I was quite impressed. I mean, we live around Spanish speakers because like there's a lot of Mexicans that live yeah. here, so you hear it all the time. This is different than Mexican Spanish. No, though, I know, but this is Spanish Spanish. I know, but still, like we have Argentinian friends. We have friends that speak all forms of Spanish. Mm -hmm. Pretty good imitation as far as I'm concerned. I don't speak any forms of Spanish, but it sounds pretty good to me. I heard a phone just now. Yeah, it was not mine. It's not mine either. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's my iPad. The phantom phone. There's not much I can add to that. It was fun. After watching the trailers, I can see the excitement behind the show and like why everyone's into it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch it. We haven't really had a chance to sit down and watch any shows right now. Like there are shows that we, we want to watch. Anyway, that's beside the point. He did a really good job and it's true. You know, the first thing, what do you learn when you're watching something in a different language. Bad words. The swear words. Yeah. Just like, puta this, puta, 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 puta. Except I didn't say it like nearly as well. No, I grew up hearing that word from Spanish people. You know, like that's just a common swear word that you hear all the time over here. Puta madre. Yeah. No, I used to think that um, tu madre was like a form of hello. Oh. But it means your mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, tu madre. And <laughs> people give me dirty looks. So I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm saying, what's up? Nope. <laughs> Just in my own kind of weird way. Mm -hmm. I think it's cool that Naveen Palaszczuk is doing this, though, because, I mean, what are you going to do in lockdown? Like, if you have all this, like, raw talent just built up inside you, like, I need to do something. I think it's awesome that he's doing these little sketch videos, uh, you know, until, you know, lockdown Ends. goes away and you can resume normal work. But even I've heard from the grapevine that they are trying to start up productions again, but it's like, Skeleton crews. The person I was speaking to was like, how do you do a Bollywood movie 
with a skeleton crew. You just can't shoot a Bollywood movie that way. Like your regular big fancy productions, you just can't do it that way. It's yeah. A, it's impossible. Impossible. So I think that uh, this is pretty much what every actor, actress should be doing. A few of my stunt friends have been doing those um, punch at the kick mm -hmm. at the camera videos. Mm -hmm. the, and my, my, the videos that you yeah, don't like. I don't like them in general, but my buddy Aaron Tony, he's actually one of the people that did it. Mm -hmm. And he decided to do like a round two. And the round two actually looks really, really good. Okay. I was like, oh, wow. Like they're really going all out. This looks cool. That one looks nice. If you're not following Aaron Tony on Instagram, he's in my the list of people I follow. Go check him out. He uh, doubled Black Panther, didn't he? He doubled a lot of people. Yeah. You know what I was wondering about? What? what? At 23 seconds in, he's on his porch, like crying out. I'm wondering if his neighbors can hear him and they're like, what the hell is he doing over there? Like, I'm wondering what they're thinking when he's just <laughs> crying out like that. Like, man, this, this lockdown's really getting to people. They're just like crying on the balcony, just absurdly loud. <laughs> in Spanish. In Spanish, like not even in the same language. It's just, Nairobi. they are really losing their mind. Gosh, I hope we're not next. Yeah, you're next. No, he's done a really good job. He's got like half a million views on this, like over 500,000 views. Well, he's a movie star now, so I would expect so. But he's only got 20,000 subscribers on his channel. So you guys go and give him a subscribe and upvote this video and show him some love. Just like Todd Bot just hit a million. I'm pretty sure if Naveen Palashidi just kept putting out these comedy type videos, yeah. he'll hit a million within no time. a month or two. It's a little different when you are... Uh, I mean, I suppose you have some thespians, some actors who are like, acting's acting, but mm -hmm. I think it's a little different when it's just you and one other person on a camera versus a crew. I think in a way, it's a little bit easier to let go of yourself when there's a set and there's a crew of people as opposed to just you and one other person. It's just different, you know what I mean? And so he's really going all out because he, he's really committing to the dramatic essence of the comedy. To me, it takes balls. It takes like courage to do that and then put that out there versus you're part of a crew and you're acting with other talent and you have a director who's informing, yeah, maybe to pull it back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Further. Like it's a totally different beast, which I'm sure he's experiencing himself for the first time, as opposed to working with a bunch of people. We've experienced it a bunch of times. You have no idea how something's looking when it's just the two of you yeah. working on something. And so I think it's awesome that he's putting this out there and he's having fun. And so uh, hopefully I have something coming soon. <laughs> we'll see. Watch this face. What I would like to know is, Achara, yes. what do you think of his hair? I would call this a classic case of lockdown hair, lockdown. but he's doing pretty well. I'm not a huge fan of the male headband. I first saw it on um, Rahul Subramanian. The male headband? The, yeah, he was the first person I noticed it on. I'm like, oh, it looks kind of cool. I noticed it when we watched a stand-up comedy for the first time. Right, yeah. There was a period in the late 90s when a lot of guys in Thailand were doing that look. And I didn't love it then. Yeah. But I think there's something about his hair having a lot of volume that it doesn't really look like he's wearing a headband so he can kind of get away with it. So yeah. I'm okay with it on Naveen. Do not do it, Jabby. You are not Naveen. I could do it. I used to tie my hair up in a ponytail like this. Yeah, that's not a good look. Hey! I was a samurai. So, I'm still a samurai if you ask the right lady. His imitation of the professor was pretty cool. Yes. I mean, we, we only saw him. Yeah, we literally. For like, literally. No, he was, throughout, he, was out, no, he was throughout the trailer. We literally just watched, we watched the trailer in preparation of watching this comedy video. I know that's not the same. Calm down. His imitation of the professor was actually pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. I it's thought. like a totally different energy. Whereas, like, everything else was super frenetic, the professor was much more grounded and just. I haven't asked Naveen, but I'm fairly confident he just shot this on his phone. Because there's a lot of people who ask me, like, how do you become a YouTuber? How do you, you know, go about doing these kinds of things on YouTube? I don't have the proper gear. I'm like, that right there, it shows you. I mean, obviously, Naveen Palaszczuk has a, a following of people. He's been in the star of movies. He's, you know, huge on AIB and all that stuff. Like, yeah. he's been around. So he's got a head start in a number of ways in, st in terms of starting up a YouTube thing. And I don't, I don't know if he's going to continue doing this after productions resume. The point is... With a cell phone and the simplest of software, you can actually do a lot if you're willing to try. If there's any time to experiment, now's the time. There's so many people in the States who, who bought up all the gear for YouTubers because I was trying to like replenish some of my gear or get doubles of some things because she needs her own. It doesn't matter the, the, the specifics, but I was trying to get like one more converter for a uh, camera to computer and I couldn't find it because it's all sold out. If you're just starting out, just a cell phone is actually quite adequate. You can yeah. do a lot with 
like a, a decent cell phone. There's a lot you can do with this little thing. So much you can do in terms of shooting, reviewing, editing, posting, editing your post. Like you can get a lot done these days. And so I, I'm really happy he's doing this. Yeah. This is really cool. And more importantly than the equipment that you have, it's the content that you're putting out. If you're funny, yeah. if you have a good idea, if you have some good information, that's way more important than exactly what your video looks like, if that makes sense. Yeah, uh, there was a comment from Mangat Madrista who says, the only worst part of this video is length. It was very short. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I think that he should have made it longer, but it leaves you wanting more. That's true. So, uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Unlike this video. <laughs> you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh, be sure to check out a chart on the social media and uh, as myself as well, both on Instagram and the Twitters, posting not that often, but often enough that it's like, oh yeah, I'm glad I'm, I'm following them on Instagram. So, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell icon, and uh, you'll get notified all the time if you hit all notifications. And I'm, I'm hoping you do that because then that would make me happy. Yeah. I know how to sell this. All notifications.